As I saw they're making changes to the Crown Anchor benefits. Are they are there any noticeable differences? Yeah, Alexis, um, I posted about this last week. It's still, I think, on the homepage of royalcommandblog.com. But essentially, the crystal block design, it mostly affects the upper tiers, diamond and above, and like there's one for pinnacle or emerald, I forget. Um, but they're changing the crystal block design. They're changing the welcome aboard drink to just be waters. Um, the 340 point discount for solo cruises is uh, has some blackout dates to it, which may or may not actually be enforced. I don't know. And there was one more thing I forgot. I mean, they're really in the upper echelon of them, and not many of them, I think, um, I don't want to say matter. Some people will take it. Oh, the, the, I now remember the laundry bag special for Diamond Plus and above. Um, there are, you have to use it on a specific day. You can't use it theoretically uh, throughout the cruise anymore. If you pay for the drink package and all the gratuities up front, are there any other hidden fees charged for your cruise that, that you're not told about? Um, there can be certain situations in which there's additional costs beyond that, right? Um, I, I think what you're referring to is maybe like gratuities or something like that. Because obviously, you know, Loretta, I mean, like shore excursions and Wi-Fi, those cost extra, right? Like we're not going to go through here and list every single thing you can possibly spend extra money on. I think where you're probably going with this more than anything uh, is maybe this is where else would gratuities pop up? Tipping the porters on embarkation day and disembarkation day. Uh, the If you go to the spa, there'll be extra gratuities there. Shore excursions. Not only do the tours cost extra, obviously, but you know if you have a tour guide, it can be customary in many situations to tip the guide at the end of the cruise. Like if you're doing a catamaran tour and they did, the crew does a good job, you know, giving them a tip at the end could definitely be something um, – you know, extra that you could do there. What the heck is happening with the Coco Key prices? Dude, the prices, listen, the prices have gone skyrocketing high, right? Like super high. The thing though is people are paying it. That's the reality. This isn't Royal Caribbean just like, well, we're just going to arbitrarily move the prices up. People are paying it. And I think that's what they're just doing. Don't forget they're a for-profit company. They're going to look, they're going to just adjust with that. So um, yeah, listen, we're going to Coco Key on uh next week when we're on wonder we didn't book anything because their prices are too high i'm not paying for it so we'll enjoy our time at the freebies we're going in harmony of the seas this weekend and are any of the pools or hot tubs open past 10 p.m i feel like they usually keep like w at least a hot tub or two open late um i can't promise you that i've never seen a formal policy as to what it is like they'll shut down some of the other pools later but if there's movies playing by the pool on harmony though they don't have one that's wonder of the seas oops okay that's not going to help you I mean, I've you. It's kind of like Madeline. I haven't really seen like a formal policy. Like we keep the pools open from this hour. I mean, if you look at the cruise compass, you will see hours for them. But I've seen hot tubs stay open a little later there. So it's like, will you have a pool open at midnight or one a.m.? Probably not. But ten o'clock ish, you might have a chance at it. Is there much difference from a round trip from Seattle, Vancouver versus a one way? There are differences, yeah. The itinerary from Vancouver is generally considered superior. You'll get to more ports and more things. You may even see more glaciers on a Vancouver trip. The problem with Vancouver trip is it's going to cost you more. You're going to be flying internet as an American. It costs, well, maybe not because you have a, I know where your day job is, but it costs more generally to get to Vancouver than it is Seattle. Um, number two, a cruise out of Canada has a little more rigmarole because it's an international departure than a U.S. departure. Uh, the U.S. stuff also, um, offers better ships, like as in newer ships. Honestly, better. I shouldn't use that word. Newer ships, Ovation Quantum versus ships out of Vancouver. You're doing like the Radiance class. Not a problem, but you know your son would definitely prefer Quantum or Ovation. That's the basics of it, right there. What is your favorite thing to do in Roatan? Um, that's a good question. My, we've got a couple different things there. I think Little French Key by far is the most popular thing to do there. It's a little area of Roatan. Animal Encounters, beautiful beaches. It's hard to go wrong. Uh, Discover Rotan. I forget what the website is. Just Google Discover Rotan. You'll find it. It's a pretty good website for tours over there. And Royal Caribbean offers its own as well. Little French key. Um, the other thing I would recommend through Royal Caribbean, if you're looking for a kind of inclusive beach day, Mayan Princess Resort was great. We did that once through Royal Caribbean, and that was very, very good. Have a group of 18, eight rooms, which we group through our travel agent. Will Royal Caribbean give us any sort of onboard credit or extras for purchasing as a big group? Good question. And the answer that the answer to your question is actually through your travel agent. So if you have a, if your travel agent booked the cruise and everybody's room is there, and most importantly, this is the kicker, they the travel agent needs to have formed a group. That's through Royal Caribbean. So if they booked eight cabins um individually called FITs, then no. But if your travel agent booked 
um, a group with, through the Royal Caribbean Group's department, which is very easy to do, and brought those rooms in there, then yes, you would qualify for some extra onboard credit and extras as well. But that's all on your travel agent. Um, you're going in July. You're If you're before final payment, you might not be able to still form a group through them, but your travel agent is the answer has the answer for you. You need to ask your travel agent, hey, is our, do we have a group with Royal Caribbean, as in through the group's department? And if the answer is yes, then you want to ask your travel agent, okay, great. Um, can you tell me about our gap points and some of the amenities uh, that we can get take advantage of? So there you go. I need tips for first-time cruisers, specifically with young kids. Uh, pack snacks, like bring like goldfish. There's plenty of food on board, but having snacks in your room really ma- like really helps. I've got kids, like a bag of goldfish or or Cheetos or Cheez-Its. Like that's just good to have in your room. Um, if you have toddlers, like infants, kids that are still in diapers, bring way more supplies than you think you're going to need for the duration of your cruise. You know, diapers, formula, uh, extra clothing, bring way more than that. I think it's definitely the uh, the right thing right there. Optimistically, looking for a last minute deals, better to try and call Rogerman directly. Can a travel agent give an advantage? 90 days, tickers, best price. Good question. Calling Royal Caribbean does no good. There's no difference at all. You're probably wasting your time because you're sitting on hold. A travel agent could get you an advantage in that if they still have group space, you could get a better deal. Or if they have, um, oh gosh, I forgot the name. It's not an amenity. But through the travel agent network, sometimes they get extra onboard credit. This happens a lot of times in which I book a random cruise and I know what the price is because I already priced it out myself. I tell my travel agent, at MEI Travel, hey, can you price this out for me? And then they'll tell me, hey, good news, you get extra onboard credit because this particular sailing through our, gosh, I can't remember the, um, there's like a network of travel agents, extra onboard credit. But sometimes there is a group space and you get a better deal. I was actually talking to a friend uh, who booked a cruise to Alaska over the weekend and he was like, yeah, I thought the price of the cruise was going to be whatever it was, but the travel agent group that I talked to had a better deal because they had a group going. So that usually is more not so much with last-minute deals out there, Suzanne, but um, it could ha- work with the travel. you got nothing to lose, everything to gain with a good travel agent. How many days out can you book entertainment? Uh, about 30 or so, although, you know, and Stacey, is, there's been an interesting thread on the Royal Caribbean blog message boards about how it's been a little inconsistent. Theoretically, what Royal Caribbean says is 30 days, but um, if it, some people have not seen that occur, like it's been less, so I, I, don't, I don't know. But that's what I can only say what they theoretically say it's going to be. Thoughts on the photo package first cruise in May. If you take the time to stop and take the photos, it's worth it. But you got to make sure you're doing lots of photos. Like you got to go every night and, and stop for the photos. Otherwise, if you're if you're not going to do that, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. I might have to cancel my cruise that's selling in October. I got the travel insurance. How long do you think I would get my refund? Well, it depends when you cancel because you're still before final payment date, my friend. So if you're before final payment, which you are, because that's 90 days out and it's not, pretty sure it's not 90 days till October. You can cancel your, uh, now if you book non-refundable, you'll be out a hundred dollar change fee and travel insurance doesn't cover that. So as long as you cut cancel before final payment, then you're good. The issue is if you get past final payment date, um, your travel insurance may not cover because you want to cancel. This is a very common misconception. Um, travel insurance, unless you got to cancel for any reason in plan, um, travel insurance only kicks in under covered reasons. Like, uh, you lost your job, Somebody died, things of that nature. Not because you decided not to go. Now, I'm not. I'm. I'm, I'm assuming here that's the case. I don't know if that is the case. Just want to make you aware that travel insurance is not a catch-all or cancel for any reason necessarily. What do you recommend to do and see in Miami? Uh, the Frost Science Center is really nice. It's right by Port Miami. Really cool. Uh, Brickell, the neighborhood, has a lot of cool restaurants and bars. I'd go there for dinner. Uh, the Advent- Aventura Mall is nice if you just want to go to a nice air conditioned air conditioned. Uh, mall, that's not too bad. Solo Traveler sign up for the June group cruise. My first group cruise, what will be fun and special? Sugar will be fun and special. No, you have a lot of activities. When we get closer to the cruise after final payment date, um, keep an eye on the events page on royalcaribbeanblog.com. We're going to have an event, at least one event every single day, Christine, and you're going to have a great time. If you booked um, through MEI Travel, your agent will let you know about when the events are posted and other really important information there. We have an event, at least one event every single day, Christine. It's going to be awesome. And actually, if you book the MEI travel, ask your agent to get you into the group me app already. You can start chatting about it. I'm hearing the main dining room will no longer bring you two entrees at a time. What is your experience? Yeah, that has been my experience as well. Uh, basically, if you order two or three entrees, they will bring it out one at a time. And no, you can't ask. Can I also have like two at a time or three at a time? They don't. I don't know why. I don't. 
I'm sure there's a logistical reason that I'm not privy to, um, but that is the policy certainly. So they are enforcing that. So have a great week, everybody. Stay safe out there. Do something fun. That's important as well. And we'll talk again very soon right here on YouTube. Good night, everybody.